From the developers of Grim Fandango and Brutal Legend comes Psychonauts 2, a third-person action platformer 16 years in the making. Bursting with artistic flair, imaginative gameplay, and a wholesome cutscene-heavy storyline, Psychonauts 2 was one of this year's most anticipated titles. But did it live up to the hype? Let's put it under the Mega the Microscope and find out. Dear God, it's beautiful. I'm sorry, it's... It's just that it's been so long since I've seen a five, let alone seven of them, what? Okay, so clearly Double Fine smashed this sequel out of the world, and it was well worth the wait. Now, this is usually where I say something like, let's see what worked. But because almost everything triumphs for Psychonauts 2, let alone works, I guess we'll just go left to right. Psychonauts 2 kicks things off with a brisk yet charming cutscene that does an effective and hilarious job recounting the first game. Really, it made me mad at young me for missing out. At center stage for this sequel story is young Rasputin Aquato, an ever-earnest yet never-annoying psychic spy that seems to have won a seat at the Psychonaut table. That is, until he arrives at their headquarters and is promptly demoted to intern. From these humble beginnings, Raz embarks on a series of escalating psychic capers, each of which revolves around one of the game's vibrant, memorable, and perfectly voice-acted characters. Ooh, is that honey pepper ball bacon? It's an exciting, emotional plot that does a great job showcasing its empathetic, oddball cast, but it arguably bites off a bit more than little Raz can chew. So enamored with its wild world and almost impossibly inventive art style, Psychonauts 2 can sometimes lose itself in the splendor, and you'll occasionally find yourself deep in the weeds of a new wonderland wondering how you got there and why. There are echoes of this problem in the game's objectives, essentially what Psychonauts 2 is asking you to do, and Raz faces his fair share of repetitive filler tasks. But hey, he's an intern. Besides, it's impossible to hold anything against Double Fine for long when you're having this much fun. The gameplay in Psychonauts 2 is as creative as is its art style, daring to twist and morph on a dime to fit its constant barrage of new and thoughtful level designs. Really, I lost track of how many virtual camera perspectives and non-combat mechanics this game threw at me. Ditto that for Raz's bevy of well-designed psychic powers, each of which can be leveled up, then adding new dimension to the ways in which Raz navigates and survives his perilous journeys through the minds of friend and foe alike. The ensuing combat feels snappy and satisfying, if a little easy. Really, you'll die infinitely more to the game's tricky platforming sections than you will its often adorable enemies. The same can be said for the game's bosses, which are rich in narrative weight but lack the difficulty curve associated with truly exhilarating, gratifying victories. That said, I'll probably look back on this micrometric score in a year and wonder how I failed to give a 5 to the game that dared to slap on some metal music and deliver unto us not one, but three beautiful barfing goat bosses. Speaking of metal, let's take a moment to marvel in the musical miracle that is this game's original soundtrack, which had the daunting duty of keeping up with this game's shape-shifting style, and it did so splendidly. Each area maintains a delicious and distinct sonic flavor. From the old-school 007 surf rock of Psychonauts HQ to the dreamy saxophone and folksy banjo of Questionable Area. Heck, even Jack Black gets in on the action with an epic psychedelic rock tone. And sound design, typically music's unsexy stepsister, also stands out in a big way for Psychonauts 2. Enemies sound distorted and dangerous, albeit in an often intentionally adorable way. And after playing several indie titles that featured maybe three sloppy footfall sounds at most, I took an odd amount of pleasure in listening to Raz interact with dozens of unique surfaces. <clears throat> In a way, I almost regret my time with Psychonauts 2, as it has so fully redefined my expectations of what's possible in this medium that I pity the subject of my next review. Never before have I seen a game so effortlessly synergize its story, gameplay, content, and style metrics, to the point that each element in Psychonauts 2 dramatically amplifies and is amplified by the others. The end result is an unforgettable audio-visual feast that thoroughly justifies its AAA price tag. And with a nifty level replay mechanic that allows you to snag all those previously unreachable collectibles, your time spent with Psychonauts 2 may go well beyond the initial 12 to 14 hour playthrough. In the end, this game is something special, and I'd recommend it to gamers of all ages. After averaging up our 15 micrometrics, Psychonauts 2 earns an incredible mega score of 4.4 out of 5, and is my front runner for Game of the Year.